hi guys and welcome back to another youtube video now in today's video slash vlog i am going to be taking a trip to lviv because i'll be seeing my friend paul off to the airport and in this video i'm going to be telling you what you need to know about traveling through lviv whether you are coming into ukraine or leaving ukraine and at the same time giving you all the informations that you need so let's go so first of all we went by car as you can already tell so if you don't want to take the train because there are a lot of people on the train and you're trying to avoid contact with a lot of people especially during this covid time you can actually pay someone to take you with their car to whichever part of ukraine okay now of course the prices vary depending on how long you're going to be spending there and depending on if they will just drop you there and come back or if they'll be taking you around the city okay so my friend's plane was to take off later in the night around 9 so we got there very early we actually arrived in Lviv around 3 in the afternoon and it's better to get there super early than to get there late Lviv for example is one of the popular cities meaning that there are more stores and more businesses here than in some other cities like my city okay so usually when we know we're going to come here we plan ahead and just come with some money to buy some stuff yeah this looks like you right yeah let's see the price is almost like that for that yes <laughs> some places like kfc where we ate or mcdonald's you don't have to go to the cashier to place your orders or to pay okay you can use the machines there if you want to and place your orders now you can place your orders here and still pay at the cashier or you can place your orders here and use your card and pay at the machine and just sit down and wait for your number to show on the screen to collect your order or if you want you don't even have to come out you can just send global like you're looking at right here to help you buy whatever you want now guys, when you are in a new city or a city you're not familiar with, Google Map is your best friend. It will help you find any place that you're looking for. For us, we've heard about this place, Boba and Black, so we used our Google Map to find it and we went there. Now guys, after we were done, it was time to head to the airport, okay? Now, let me tell you guys some of the things my friends did before we actually got to the airport, okay? While in our city, after packing his suitcase, he got a skill and he weighed his luggage, okay? He went online to find out the limit he could carry, okay? Now, doing this helped him to estimate his SS luggage and he paid for his SS luggage online. Now guys, I would definitely advise you to weigh your luggage before you get to the airport, okay? Doing this is very good because you won't be stranded. Now, if you meet traffic even after leaving early, when you get to the airport, you don't need to spend more time again trying to wear your luggage and everything okay so doing this helps you not to be stranded and of course it prevents embarrassment because you have already checked in all you have to do is then show your documents and go to your gate now guys for all of you that's going to come to Lviv this is the Lviv airport I personally also came to Lviv when I was coming to Ukraine and of course right now I can't show you inside because unfortunately because of quarantine we are not allowed to get inside so as I said because my friend did all of this beforehand once we got to the airport he didn't waste any time in checking in when you get to the airport, you have to show your passport before they let you inside because they're only letting those who are traveling in, okay? So guys, I shot this video in summer because my friend actually traveled in summer. But, but, because there were so many events coming up, I kept pushing and pushing it aside. Finally, I have gotten to editing and uploading this particular video. <laughs> So guys, I hope you found this short video informative and see you in my next video. Bye!